It is Monday, September 30th, 2024, and this is the latest news update from Medellin, Colombia, and Colombia as a whole. Follow along. DC Bob's got the info you need from the East Coast streets to the Caribbean breeze. Travel smart, stay sharp, that's the creed. Knowledge is power, proceed and succeed. Colombia's first Medellin. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. This is the latest news from Medellin, Colombia, and Colombia as a whole. Let's jump into the first one in dating arrest news. Two women aged 22 and 25 were arrested in Medellin for targeting tourists via dating apps to rob them after administering psychoactive substances. Known as Black Widows, the suspects were part of a criminal gang and typically stole money, cell phones, and valuables from their victims. After a three-month investigation, the police captured them in the El Playon neighborhood of Bejo. The Metropolitan Police revealed that the gang specifically targeted foreigners. This operation coincided with a separate raid that resulted in the death of Zeus, a leader of the Clan de Golfo, in clashes with authorities. In Mexico-Colombian relations, a family in Medellin is desperately seeking answers after 25-year-old Diana Paneso, who disappeared in Veracruz, Mexico. Diana, a young mother, traveled to Mexico after being contacted by what is believed to be a fake modeling agency. She was accompanied by five other women from various Colombian cities, including Cucuta, Ibagué, and Pereira. Diana's brother, Duvan Paneso, expressed frustration with the lack of support from both Colombian and Mexican authorities struggling to file a formal complaint. The family is calling for respect for Diana's life and is urging authorities to take action. Authorities warned the public about criminal groups using fake modeling agencies to lure victims, asking citizens to report suspicious activities to the prosecutor's office or the Ministry of the Interior. Okay, over to the MDE airport. Police swiftly recovered a 70 million pesos watch stolen at Jose Maria Cordova Airport in Rio Negro. The incident occurred when a passenger forgot the watch in a security tray while rushing to board her flight. Another traveler took advantage of the situation and stole the item. Thanks to security cameras and collaboration between Medellin and Bogota police, authorities identified the suspect who had already boarded a flight to Bogota. Upon landing at the El Dorado Airport, the man was intercepted, confronted with the evidence, and admitted to the theft. He returned the stolen watch to its rightful owner. Okay, captured. In a joint operation at the Jose Maria Cordoba Airport in Rio Negro, authorities captured Marcel Mulcamp, a German drug lord who was among Europe's 50 most wanted criminals. The operation involved the Colombian National Police, Interpol, Europol, and German authorities. Mulcamp, classified as extremely dangerous, had fled from Germany to Turkey and later sought refuge in Colombia. He was wanted for trafficking large quantities of methamphetamines and cocaine and was using the Ecuadorian passport to conceal his identity. To avoid detection, he altered his tattoos. Milkamp, a well-known mixed martial artist fighter, had been on the run since 2020 before his arrest. Okay, a birthday party for an American family in Hiradota turned into a nightmare when thieves broke into rented property and stole over 40 million in belongings. Cheyenne Herrera, the birthday boy's wife reported that around 30 guests were staying at the house when during the night, criminals forced open the door and used stairs to access locked rooms. The thieves took cell phones, computers, jewelry, and money while everyone was asleep. Security cameras captured footage of the two individuals entering the property in the early morning and was fleeing with the stolen goods. Okay, in automotive news, a Tesla Cybertruck recently caused a stir in Medellin when it was spotted rolling down Avenida El Poblado. Though Tesla doesn't yet sell its vehicles in Colombia, experts like Carlos Jaramillo, head of Poblaudas, explain how importing these high-end vehicles works. Importers purchased the Cybertruck from the United States, and it's only available through Tesla's website. After completing the sale, the vehicle is shipped to Colombia. Importing involves securing a title, customs procedures, and paying taxes, including tariffs and VAT. The cost of the complexities make importing luxury vehicles a niche market in Medellin. Okay, in military news, an Air Force helicopter crashed in Vichada, Colombia on Sunday, September 29th, resulting in the tragic deaths of eight soldiers. The incident occurred around 4 a.m. near Santa Teresita del Tupuro during a medical evacuation mission. The Huey 2 helicopter lost communication with the Colombian Air Force, and although the crash is yet to be officially confirmed, images circulating on social media show the aircraft in flames. 
President Gustavo Petro expressed his condolences, attributing the crash to harsh weather conditions in the region. The victims include Captain Julian Parilla and seven other military personnel. Search and rescue efforts are still ongoing. In U.S. Columbia news, the family of 28-year-old Colombian student Dedier Yesith Martinez Garcia is struggling to repatriate him from a severe accident in Miami. Didier fell from the ninth floor of a building in Sunny Isles Beach, and though a palm tree broke his fall, he sustained critical injuries, including damage to his spine, femur, and foot. Currently in a coma, Didier has undergone multiple surgeries. His family is seeking $30,000 through a GoFundMe campaign to cover its costs to transfer him back to Colombia, where he can receive care. They are also applying for a humanitarian visa to be with him in Miami. Okay, next up. Gabriela Marbella Gonzalez, an Antiochian model and content creator, has publicly expressed fear for her life after accusing American producer Jesse Stream of sexual abuse. Marbella shared her concerns on her ex, formerly as Twitter, account stating that more victims have come forward and that their life is in danger due to the sensitive information she possesses. She has called on the Attorney General's Office for protection. Despite filing a complaint, Marbella claims she has received little support from Colombian authorities. Stream's lawyers denied the allegations, stating the two had an on and off relationship and said the producer has not fleed. Colombian authorities, including Migracion Colombia, are attempting to reach Marbella for further investigation. Okay, in migration news, Colombian communities in the United States have grown significantly with 1.4 million Colombians living in the U.S. as of 2021. Migration occurred in three waves after World War II, during the 1970s and 80s, and in the 1990s due to a drug violence in Colombia. Florida is home to 35% of the Colombian diaspora, with large populations also in New York, New Jersey, Texas, and California. Notable Colombian hubs include Little Colombia in Jackson Heights, New York, and Elizabeth, New Jersey, Kendall, Florida, East Boston, Massachusetts, and Doral, Florida. These areas feature vibrant Colombian culture with restaurants, bakeries, and cultural events celebrating Colombian heritage. Okay, in gastronomic news, Restaurante 1621 in Cartagena, Colombia has been named the second best fine dining restaurant in the world by TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Awards. This prestigious recognition highlights the restaurant's fusion of French culinary techniques with local Colombian ingredients, offering a luxurious 10-course menu with wine pairings. Located in the former convent restaurant, 1621 provides an intimate and upscale dining experience. Colombian cuisine, known for dishes like lechona and bandeja paisa, continues to elevate the country's status as a top destination for food enthusiasts. Casa Vigil in Mendoza, Argentina, ranked fourth in the awards with Restaurant Peak in France taking first place. And lastly, why Americans are choosing retirement in Colombia. Many Americans like Jeremy Teitelbaum are choosing to retire in Colombia due to its affordability and appealing lifestyle. Teitelbaum, a California native, moved to Pereira, enjoying its year-round eternal spring climate. He lives comfortably on 3,423 monthly pension, paying under $500 for rent with utilities totaling $150. Colombia ranks 10th in the 2024 Global Retirement Index, praised for its beautiful landscapes, affordable cost of living, and quality health care. Cities like Medellin and Cartagena offer retirees a comfortable life for $1,500 to $2,000 per month, making Colombia a top retirement destination for Americans seeking lower cost and a vibrant culture. So there you go. You're up to date with the latest news out of Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. I am back in Houston from Seattle. My trip was awesome. I got to spend some time with my brother. I'll be posting a video on his exhibit, the, the unveiling of his paintings and the models were there too. So it's kind of cool to see the pictures of the ladies and then the ladies stand next to the pictures too. It was an experience and a good time to be able to see my brother and my sister. So anyway, you're up to date again with the latest out of Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to travel, but travel safe. Okay, hold, hold, hold on guys, hold on guys. Right quick, if you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next.
Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. This is Born Rob.